Number 1. Old Town Graz. The UNESCO designated Old Town Center of Graz is filled with historical architecture and is a pleasure to explore on foot. Highlights include the Hauptplatz, the main square, on the left bank of the River Moor. Here, you'll see a fine statue of Archduke Johann, 1782-1859, who did much to bring industry to the region and improve communications and trade. Also of note are the Town Hall, Rothaus, built in 1893, and the 17th century House M. Lug, with its attractive arcaded and stucco-decorated facade. Number 2. Schlossberg and the Clock Tower. Above Old Town Graz rises the Schlossberg. This 473-meter-tall hill can be ascended by a funicular railway that takes just three minutes to get to the top. Alternatively, it can be reached by a pleasant 20-minute walk. Highlights include the superb 28-meter-tall clock tower, Ertem, the city's best-known landmark. Built in 1561, it's all that's left of the massive fortifications that once stood here and which were dismantled after the Treaty of Vienna in 1809. Number 3. The Styrian Armory. Located on Graz Herengas, the Styrian Armory, Landesugaus, is, like many of the town's other top attractions, a part of the Universal Museum Joannium Collection of Museums. This important historic site has, in fact, been home to the provincial arsenal since 1644. Number 4. The Landhaus and Courtyard. In the heart of Graz's pedestrian-friendly old town stands the majestic Landhaus, home to the Styrian provincial government. Built in Renaissance style in 1565, it's widely regarded as one of the finest such buildings in Austria. Number 5. Graz Art Museum. Looking a little like some alien life form plunked in the middle of Graz's splendid old architecture, the ultramodern Graz Art Museum, Kunsthaus Graz, was built in 2003 to mark the city's choice as the European City of Culture. Focusing on works of contemporary art of the mid-20th century, the gallery hosts artists from around the world with regularly changing temporary exhibits. Number 6. Murin Cell. Another Graz landmark built to commemorate the city being granted the role of European Capital of Culture in 2003 is a man-made island known as the Murin Cell, or Moor Island. Made entirely of steel and resembling a large upside-down seashell, it's really a 47-meter-long floating island in the middle of the river moor that's tethered to its banks by two footbridges. Number 7. Graz Cathedral. One of the top things to do in Graz for free, Graz Late Gothic Sea. Giles Cathedral, Grazer Dom, is a must-visit. It was built between 1438 to 62 on the site of an earlier church dedicated to Este. Giles in which was first referred to in 1174. Of particular note is the main doorway, which is decorated with the coat of arms of its builder, Emperor Frederick III. Number 8. Graz Mausoleum. After visiting the cathedral, be sure to also visit the adjoining mausoleum. Built in the early 1600s next to the cathedral and stay. Catherine's Church, Katharinenkirch, for Emperor Ferdinand II, it's also where you'll find the tomb chapel with exquisite artwork and sculptures. It's known among locals as the crown of the town for its elevation and spectacular views. The steps leading up to the mausoleum make for the perfect selfie spot. Number 9. Maria Trost Basilica. The Baroque Maria Trost Basilica sits at the top of a hill, ascended by more than 200 steps that pilgrims climb, reading the messages as they go. The interior of this popular pilgrimage church is Baroque, although the Madonna on the high altar is late Gothic in origin. Number 10. Schloss Egenberg. Atop a hill just 3 kilometers west of Graz city center stands Schloss Egenberg. This stunning 1635 Baroque palace features four large towers, fine state apartments, and rich Rococo fittings. Interior highlights include the walls and ceilings of the Banqueting Hall, a masterpiece of Baroque architecture richly painted with more than 600 superb works, including the signs of the zodiac and the planetary system. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.